Guys, there it is, Air Force One going to the Muslim leftist state of Minnesota, which once upon a time was the great white, oh, not the great white north, that's right. Caucasians like me are supposed to be ashamed and apologize to even be alive. Well, the hell with that. I'm done apologizing for being alive, right? So they went ahead and they were burning Minneapolis, Minnesota, and they cried out to President Trump, and he sent resources there and took care of the problem in a half an hour. Now at the last minute, they tell him he can have 250 people to speak to. So what, does he cancel it? No, there's Air Force One. He could put 250 people on fucking Air Force One and have the rally on it. But, you know, the Secret Service won't go for that, but I'd like to see it and say, hey, you know, it's cold as hell out here. Why don't we have the rest of the rally on Air Force One? Let them all in, guys. But we know security can't do that. All right, this bullshit, Elon Omar in the Muslim, great Muslim state of Minnesota, right? Huh? The United States of America, my rat's ass, it's gone. It's gone, and it went away because it was founded by people like me, and I'm supposed to freaking apologize because I'm white, and because I'm a purebred individual, meaning I'm not biracial anything. I know what I am. Hey, it is what it is. Blacks feel the same way. When I was growing up, we were all called Americans, even though we fought amongst ourselves. Now we all got had African American, Hispanic American, Asian American, Hawaiian American, barefoot American, queer American, faggot American. I don't know what I am American. One day I'm a guy, one day I'm a girl, one day I'm a guy living as a girl and vice versa. American. So it's no wonder everything's gone to shit after we've murdered 64 million unborn babies. There's like the, maybe there's peace in the Middle East with no more blood in the sand, but the American soil is rich with the blood of the unborn. And you don't get any more innocent than that. But what does the president do? Huh? He says, I'm going to land Air Force One right there where there would have been 50,000 people. So what does that accomplish for the governor, huh? What's that accomplish for the governor? Guarantees when his, guarantees his ass will be voted out, and the next governor of the, of, the, of the state of Minnesota will be a Republican just because of this shit. Ah, they don't get it. They don't get it. Elon Omar thinks the whole state is Muslim, so she can say and do whatever she wants. Most of the state of Minnesota is Caucasian. It's just Caucasians are just like Republicans. We don't give a damn about each other. We feel guilty and care about everybody else. And it's about time that crap stopped. We as Christians and people that believe in right to life and we're the most bigoted against people that there are. And you know, we can throw we can throw the Pope and 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 the, and the, the new Catholic doctrine and all that shit right on out. Because he wants to have same sex unions and all this crap, but he won't let a priest get married so that he doesn't burn with sexual tension and end up abusing an older boy. Come on, huh? The priest can't have a wife? But you want to go ahead and sanction same-sex marriage and or whatever sex marriage because one day I might feel like a guy and one day I might feel like a girl. So then again, one day I should be able to feel like an African-American and take advantage of all the government programs available only to the African-American race. You know it all. You see Air Force One there. Look at that. Huh? I love it. Just what we thought, yeah, pulling right up there, right up there to the staircase. This is phenomenal. This is such a class act. Such a class act. This is, this is such an F.U. to the governor of Minnesota. 
that we just have to cover it right here on my YouTube channel. And if you get it, give me a damn subscription and a thumbs up or something, will ya? Because I got only got 26 subscribers. And do you know my pro-Trump videos are getting censored by YouTube and are getting taken down as soon as they upload? At least 50% of them. It's absolutely ridiculous. They, and did you notice? Anytime you open up YouTube, you get a home page, right? It used to say, hey, do you want to try YouTube TV for a month or seven days or whatever? Now it's a Joe Biden ad because what? YouTube is owned by Google, who what? Funds Joe Biden. So there you go, right? It's funny, as bad as Twitter is, before YouTube gets my uh, videos like this one, once it's made and, uh, and it's finished, I can get it over to Twitter. And as bad as Twitter is, at least Twitter won't take my post down. But then as soon as I get it sent over to Twitter, it disappears on YouTube. I use my mother as a test pattern. I, I send my upload, fresh uploaded video to my mother. She'll, she, she can watch it disappear from her messages before her eyes as YouTube censors me and takes me off the air. And the only thing I do is shoot pictures like this of Air Force One and the President of the United States, which I have a right to do as, a, as an American in this country. I just can't believe it, right? Right? I just can't believe it. Huh? Huh? What are you going to do? You all hate us. You all hate us, diehard patriot Americans. What are you going to do when everybody like me and Donald Trump and Jericho Green my brother from another mother. In other words, because he's black, he gets 75,000 views, but he says the same stuff I do. But it's okay. It means more coming from him, I guess, and that's fine. But what are you going to do? We're still 77% of the population, the Caucasian race. What are you going to do when we all leave and say, take this hellhole country? and we take Donald Trump with us and we set up somewhere on some island and start the hell over and start over and all of us retire and the hell with everything and watch the United States go up in smoke. COVID, 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 read the book. When it's time to die, it will be by fire. Read the book. And I'm not going to tell you what the book is because you should know. The end comes by fire, but you will answer for innocent blood. 64 million murdered unborn babies. It's not a woman's body. If a woman has a body and attached to an umbilical cord is another body. How? How? How can people be that stupid? Not this. That's not even saying if you kill a tadpole that you kill a frog. No, but you still killed something. That's not. That even is more dumb than that. She has an umbilical cord attached to another living being. Kind of sounds like a. Kind of sounds like a. Uh, what the hell is he calling them? They ain't calling them respirators, are they? What the hell are they calling them damn things that are killing people in the hospital that we didn't have any of? That makes you breathe. I don't know. Help me out. Give me, hey, give me a comment down there. Tell me, what the hell are those called? They aren't called respirators, are they? They're called, you know, the thing that breathes for you. What the hell is that called? Maybe it is a respirator. Res I don't think it's a respirator, though. Honest to God, I don't. What the? Help me out, people. I need some help. I'm just a 63-year-old disabled man who just blew and herniated another four disc and completely tore one and all levels have fresh new nerve root impingement. And my wonderful Blue Cross Blue Shield Medicare Advantage plan, six weeks later, can't get me any medical care because they don't want to pay anything or set me up with it. I can't even get a lumbar brace. All right? You can't get anything, people. So if you have Meta, uh, Blue Cross or United Healthcare, Aetna, any of these things while you're at work, which I did too, hey, they're wonderful. Once you get older, you get hurt, and uh, you need to go under their Medicare Advantage plan. They take the government's money. 
They give you a big fat book of all your benefits, and then it's good luck trying to use them. Good luck. So all they really are are, cra are catastrophic plans, which you have to have because Medicare does not have an out-of-pocket maximum. So if your medical bill is $2 million under original Medicare, you owe 20% of $2 million, which of course you wouldn't pay anyway. And they wouldn't charge the insurance people $2 million. So here's our big crowd. And look at, see? Look at, see? Look at them. Look at them. Look at all of them. Right? Look at them. It's cold in Minnesota today, people. They knew the event got scorched. They said, we're coming anyway to the sport. This man here, this man right here in this jet, who said, there's 250 people in the cold waiting for me. I got freaking 15 stops over, I'm not, yeah, 15 stops over the next three days. But I can't let them 250 people in Minnesota sit there in the cold and not pull up in Air Force One, huh? What a present. Nothing but a class act. I'd like to support a constitutional amendment for, for only for Donald Trump that he pull the Xi Jinping and we make a constitutional amendment that he be president for his life or until he retires. Until he retires. I mean, come on, in the land of the home of Elon Omar, and it's okay, they're going to show a Mike Landell commercial, that's fine. He's given all kinds of money to this station that's showing Donald Trump that a lot of stations won't, so he's taking two-thirds off the price of all his products and half of that money he's going to give to the station where I'm, get, where I'm able to show Air Force One right now, so really, who cares about that? That's all right, too. Because, you know, nobody will probably see this one anyhow because as soon as it's finished upload, uploading, YouTube's going to steal it anyway. With 26 subscribers, that's why I'm saying, why don't you guys help me out? If you get me over 1,000 subscribers, it'd be a whole lot harder for them to just silence our voice. I'm not going to make any money off this. And I'm fine. Houses paid for, cars paid for, got a couple of bucks in the bank. If the Democrats don't make everything crash, you better check your 401ks. The Democrats are crashing the hell out of them, people. Don't sit there and tell me you haven't checked your money. And you better damn sure well check it tomorrow. And if you don't bitch, don't bitch like hell if you lose 25% tomorrow due to Joe Biden and the BS. Remember. Before there was one case of COVID in the United States, Donald Trump shut down travel from China. Shortly thereafter, he shut down travel from Europe. They won't, they don't want to repeat that. They want to say, he, oh, he didn't tell us everything because he didn't want to create a panic. Well, that's fantastic, but he shut it down. He shut it down. Well, the Democrats, Republicans of life in January said, you can't shut down travel from China. The Chinese will get mad. And the Democrats said you're a freaking racist. So there you go. There we go. Do you hear it? There is a house in New Orleans. They call the rising sun. It's still a ruin. Of many a poor boy in fact I know I'm one I'm feeling the energy I'm so excited I'm so excited I can't stand it man there's the beast the president is going to ride the beast from the plane of the mic stand for 250 people standing in the cold that's why this will be my longest video ever and they'll take it down they'll take it down they'll take it down they'll take it down and trash it there it is he's going to show off the beast he could have walked look at the gmi the mic stands already there he said let's show the people the beast they want to see the beast yeah watch 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 where this microphone was probably 
20 steps from the from where we got off the uh, steps to the jet. But we're gonna take a, a lap in the beast for the for the crowd. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. This is a man after my heart. Oh, if if you were never a Trump fan, you've got to be now. You gotta be now. And how many people did he save when he stopped the violence in Minneapolis because they couldn't handle it? And what is the governor doing? Thanks, right? And remember, in New York, Andrew Cuomo sent 12,000 people to die back to the nursing homes, knowing they were COVID-19 positive. Why Donald Trump had built 2,800 beds that they didn't send people to, and he sent the chip which was meant to do regular people. And Cuomo said, please, Mr. President, could they take COVID? And they refitted the ship to make it a COVID-only ship. And where did Cuomo send the people? Back to the nursing homes to die and to die alone. And who knows how many of those people really died from heart attacks and liver disease and cancer. And because they had a cough during their death, they were called a COVID positive, a COVID suspicious death, which gets the medical facility forty thousand dollars. So any death's going to be called COVID. Just pitiful, just disgusting. What's going on in this country? Feel like I should be here with these guys right here. And you see right here, huh? Do you see one of the hosts in his mega hat? What color is he? Yeah, he's not biracial, is he? No, no, he's a Negro. That's the word for it. Just like I'm a Caucasian. I'm sure he wouldn't be ashamed if I said you're a Negro. He wouldn't be ashamed if I said you're an American with no hashtag in front of it. And neither would this young lady, I'm not sure. You can't ever tell who's Caucasian anymore. But there you go, like my friend said from Jamaica, we have all colors and all races in our country, but we're all just called Jamaican. What is this stuff you got here? And she says, what the hell is biracial? We don't even, call, we, we don't even have a word for that in Jamaican. You're just Jamaican. I said, what do you expect in a land of leftists and communists and uh, Democrats and Muslims trying to take over? This is Minnesota, the great white north. How in the hell can you have an Elon Omar in the great white north? Yeah, because Minnesota didn't control how many Muslims they let come in. Yeah, you got, yeah. Talk to France about just letting out an unlimited number of Muslims come in now. Now the teachers' heads are getting sawed off in the streets in front of people. Let's take a teacher and cut her head off in front of people. Yeah, let them in. Let them in, baby. Let them in. We're going to hang with this thing because they're probably going to tear it down anyway, at least until the president makes it to the podium and says his big hellos. And here we go. So now it's time for me to turn him up. All right. He should be out soon. And the crowd should be because they said Donald J. Um, Trump. Who knows? Who and the presidential be? seal is on the podium. Oh, there it is. The President of the United States, and Donald J. Trump. Right yeah, now. I'm proud to be an American where at least I okay, know so I'm sure. free. Oh, good Who's God, of course, my Christmas favorite Christmas. Uh, station that shows crap, right? They got, they're out there crying for money right now. We don't need to hear that. Because you know what? Now if Fox News or NBC, ABC, CBS are getting 80, 60,000 people viewing these live feeds, this little station's getting three, four, five hundred thousand 500,000 people viewing. So they're making a mint. So we don't need to we don't need to hear them cry for money anymore. And that's why I said Mike Lendell could have just bought Trump commercials. He didn't have to worry about selling shit for a third of the price to write these give these people half the money. Could have wrote them a check if they want to, but you know, right side broadcasting's okay, but they never quit crying for money. Cry, 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 cry. I know one thing, if I had five hundred views. 
<laughs> when I there you see my man here, huh? Is that even more of a class act? That's the president alone, alone in the field, taking his time to gather his thoughts. That's why they've already announced them. No one's going to have this on here except these people and me, huh? There's the president, huh? All by himself. The president stranded alone, saying, probably saying a prayer, saying, Lord, Jesus Christ, what am I supposed to do? What's supposed to happen tonight? If they take over completely, what the hell if they'll kill if they'll kill a baby the day at the day of birth? Shit, they'll kill me just because I'm a pain in the a pain in the rear end. And I'm more than a pain in the rear end. Let me know when there's a lot of damn Second Amendment people in Minnesota that are just waiting for the Democrats to pull their shenanigans like they're pulling tonight. And they're all armed to the teeth and they're trained. Yeah. I think he's praying. I've never seen him. I've never seen him hesitate like this. I believe he's praying. I believe he's asking for strength. I believe he's asking, should I just go home, God, and let them have what they want? Because once upon a time, the people said they weren't happy with God as their leader. They wanted a human. And God said, fine, but here's what he's going to do. And all the things he was going to do to abuse the people. And they said, that's fine. We want to be like the other countries of the world. He said, have at it. I'm a jealous God. Don't call me in the morning. But while we were yet sinners, Christ died. And before he gave up the ghost, he said, Father, please forgive them that nailed me to this cross. Before he gave up the ghost, those people didn't ask to be forgiven. They had just put the nails in. Think about that one. And I'm supposed to do as much as that for my neighbor. Yeah. I'm falling way short of that. Ain't going to happen. I'm nothing but a piece of dirt with that had the breath of life placed in my being. And see... I'm a whole lot better. I'm a whole lot better listening to me rock and roll and preach a little bit to listen to listen to this girl holler and scream, crying for money anymore, and thanking anybody that sent them three cents. Right? I mean, my gosh, we know YouTube pays good money. Hey, my brother Jericho Green, you could visit him. He even sells his own T-shirts because he's he's Negro. And he says the same things I do, but he gets 75,000 views. So he, he's got so many people on, they don't censor him anymore. But me, they, they'll take my shit down as soon as I put it up. So there we go. And I don't care anymore about, about my pillow. So we're just going to hang on and wait for the president. And... Uh, I've told you enough good stuff anyhow, so if it, I don't want to, I cannot do in a commercial, Mike Lendell. Good God, you're a multi-millionaire. Do what you want, oh good Lord. I'll tell you what, let's look at my electric fireplace with this and plug, why don't I walk with you? Let's plug it in. Yeah, I mean, that guy's got enough money. He's got millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. I, he don't need a commercial. He don't need to get any money if he wants to contribute. To, look at that. How's that for a 10-year-old $40 Christmas gift of an electric fireplace. That's pretty killer, isn't it? And here's my here's my best friend. There's my, my best friend. So he's as crippled as I am. He's had a bath, he, so he's all chilled out. That's Max. And these are the fish, but, you know, fish don't care, and so it's one of them things. You know, fish don't care. Cold-blooded things don't care. So we're going to try to hang this thing loose here until he walks out and starts starts things going there may have been a uh, there may have been a threat somewhere that the secret service didn't like because normally once they announce the 45th president of the united states donald j trump there's no more delay and there's a delay and it's actually easier 
to uh, fire off an assassination uh, attempt in this kind of a setting with sparsely pe with a sparse number of people than a crowd. It actually is because it's easier to get back with a long rifle and not be noticed. So uh, there it is, right? Yeah, there it is. Amazing. Amazing. Then you got Joe Biden. Tell you what, right? You don't need to worry about the rumors about Joe Biden and, uh, and children, okay? Go to YouTube. The phrase is creepy Uncle Joe, but just start writing out creepy. And uh, you're lucky if you get to the E in creepy. And then you'll see Joe Biden videos and inappropriate ways that he touches young children on three letters. Go to YouTube and do it. Do it. Yeah, but that's the guy you want to vote for. And then you want the vice president who going to be president anyway because this guy ain't got long to go he's 78 who doesn't even know what race she is because being a mother is indian and a father is a jamaican doesn't make her a black and an african-american go on jericho green who is black and a negro and he says the same thing he says what what when did you become black he said, early on for education purposes and grant purposes and job purposes in the beginning, you used uh, your, the fact that your mother was an Indian. An Indian like Indian, not Indian like Native American, but Indian like Indian, like from India, to your advantage. And now all of a sudden you're black? Really? So we may run out of time here. Because I think if I hit the 30-minute mark, nobody ever watch anything anyway. So I'm sorry. But I'm very concerned about what's going on with the president because the plane has landed. He's been, entered, he's been introduced at least, what, what would I say now? Oh, at least 10 minutes ago or so. And he's not at the mic stand and he's no longer walking around the, the tarmac. And uh, now I see not only that, but the, the front door, Air Force One, has been closed. So I'm concerned about what's going on. So I'm going to say I'm out, but there's something up here. The president disappeared from the tarmac. Air Force One's been sealed tight, and he's already been announced twice. And the seal's on the podium. So there's something the Secret Service doesn't like. Doesn't like. So, <laughs> hey... I don't know what the hell. Hey. Hey, all you guys, you know who you are. You know who you are. I know what you're going to do if, if, if we don't win this election. Give me a holler. Give me a tweet. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. I'll come train and join you. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I got one last fight in me, but I'll be damned if I'm going down as a communist. It just ain't going to happen. And I'll be damned if I go down not knowing if I'm a boy or a girl. And I'll be damned if I'll go down when the baby's fully born. And he's had his cry and his tube cut. And the mother gets 24 hours to say, is it thumbs up or thumbs down? And that's where it's at. And it's in the Democratic platform. And it's in the state constitution of Ralph Northam. In other words, I don't know if he's Virginia or West Virginia. That's why I said Ralph Northam. And you can pull up his name on YouTube and he'll describe to you exactly how they're going to wrap the baby up and keep him comfortable for them 24 hours while they decide if it's thumbs up or thumbs down. And if it's thumbs down, they'll just go in and euthanize the poor guy. Won't even give him, won't even give, won't even give him a chance to be sent to me. Won't even give him a chance, because I don't know what I'm doing. It might be a whole lot better than killing him. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. And I got the money to get the help to figure it out. Can't take them all, but I'll take the first one. Ralph, don't kill the next one. Send them to me. Somebody get on my YouTube channel and my link to Ralph Northam. Say the next one you're going to kill. After it's been born, contact me. I'll take it. I'll raise it. I'll pay for it. 
hey, I'm out. 